Polish Agriculture Minister Henryk Kowalczyk resigned from his post on Wednesday amid rising anger among farmers over the impact of Ukrainian grey imports on prices. Kowalczyk said he decided to quit the position due to the European Commission's decision to extend duty-free imports for Ukrainian grain until June 2024. Polish farmers have called for the introduction of tariffs. And it is clear that this demand will not be met by the European Commission at this point. I decided to resign from the post of Agriculture Minister, Kowalczyk said. Logistical bottlenecks mean large quantities of Ukrainian grains, which are cheaper than those produced in the European Union, have ended up in Central European states, hitting prices and sales of local farmers and creating a headache for Poland's ruling Law and Justice Party in an election year. The Prime Ministers of five states, including Poland, wrote to the European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen on Friday to demand action on Ukrainian agricultural imports. They said tariffs may have to be reintroduced if the influx of grain and other products from Ukraine cannot be stopped by other means. Meanwhile, Polish government report that Ukrainian grain imports into Poland have decreased over the past two weeks. Polish farmers point out that rather than being exported onto a third country, the grain, which comes with a price tag half of its Polish equivalent, has been brought up by companies in Poland, prompting the price to plunge. Farmers have called for tighter control over the imports. Speaking to the Polsat News Channel, former Agriculture Minister Henryk Kowalczyk said, We have figures from the National Revenue Administration. The imports of Ukrainian grain have really gone down in the past two weeks, approximately three to four times, thanks to a grain control system. Referring to recent talks about Ukrainian grain with Polish farmers, Kowalczyk said the government was planning to buy Polish grain to begin at latest on April 12th. He added that the same, the lower parliamentary house, was expected to pass a 600 million Polish Zlotys grant to finance the purchases. Poland has allowed the transit of Ukrainian export grain through its territory in face of the country's export difficulties after its invasion by Russia.